Okay, we are on part number two on this diamond uh, pendant tutorial. Um, if I follow up from part number one, what we did, we ended up with the bottom curves. And right now you can see it's a big mess. It looks like a intersection at Dallas at 5 o'clock peak hour traffic. Um, all the control points are currently switched on. Um, it's just a bunch of curves, especially where it cross over. There's so many curve control points. So this is what I did. Let me switch off all the control points. I have I backtracked a few steps. I undid quite a few steps and I went straight back to my curve that was actually laying flat on my construction plane. Then I copied that set of curves, I pasted them and I moved the copied set up about 4 or 5 millimeters. And I curved them across my um where my opening where my chain is going to go through that's called my bail then I copied the top set of curved and I, the curves and I scaled them towards the inside which gave me my blue set right now and that is going to have a inverted camphor um, or a fillet on that on that corner uh, then it's going to curve and fold over itself and gets terminated with another inverted curve at the end of a year so um, what I also did was uh, let me just unhide I'll show you um, visibility show I drew a, a rectangular block that represents the opening for my Omega chain uh, this is a 8 millimeter wide by about 4 I think it was 4 millimeter high for the biggest part of the chain which is the clasp to go through um, then I made sure that all my curves is clearing this box to make sure that when I do my opening with a boolean uh, difference I have enough gold left and it's strong enough for the bail um, so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna hide this again control H to hide that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sweeping all these rails with my surfaces and I do that by uh, two rail sweep we do this with surface sweep two rails and we pick this rail and uh, no I, that's the wrong rails let's start again surface sweep two rails so many rails okay that rail this rail and my cross rail is uh, this one cross section curve enter um, let's add a slash here just to well actually that's good let's enter that okay now this is what happens when you sweep a rail it follows the two curves of both rails and terminates with a, a, f a straight curve at the end it started with this curve it sweeps exactly what the name says sweep around and we follow around and we do that one um, now I'm gonna do the same with uh, this curved end I am gonna sweep two rails which is this one is going to be my surface edge to get a more accurate sweep that's my other curve and this is my cross section curve okay and that's exactly what happened it swept right above the other surface and terminated to the other side we're going to do the same sweep two rails this is my surface edge follow that end and this is my other curve this is my cross section curve okay now before I finish uh, this command I have to go towards my end here because what happens if you have a sweep with a very tight turn like this you get a really funky corner and it kind of climbs over the, the edge so I have to add see how these lines are not perpendicular to my or oh, it's actually not radial to the side of my curve I'm gonna add a slash so that's the first point on that rail and I am gonna I'm going to tell it to, to instead of these angles to move them so they radi so the radial point is almost perpendicular to the other curve so I switch them around and now I get a nice smooth curve that's perfect and that's okay so we keep that s that's and if I uh, do a quick render, render on it you'll see it's nice and smooth I'm happy with that one actually let's switch to this this uh, view mode how nice and smooth that is um, okay I swept the side of the pennant I am gonna go ahead and sweep all these rails I'm gonna do the back the front do all these other ones uh, just like I did these first few and I'll be right back 
Okay, I have um, swept all the rails. We can see that it's one solid, um, one solid now. It's called a solid model because there's no more openings in this unit uh, except for this block that I can just move out of the way for now, just to get a view. Get a take these uh, lines out. There we go. Um, the diamonds is still floating on top right now. Um, I am gonna draw two curves on the surface and then project my uh, diamonds onto that onto that surface. And um, I am happy so far with it. It's looking good. We can quickly just do a quick rendering, maybe. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Uh, that looks good from the side. Very good. Um, so next step is um, doing the, the doing the curves on the surfaces, and I will uh, use array curve plus on that one. I'll show you how I do that one, and then um, we have. I might have trouble doing a, a boolean difference, uh, cutting these channels in these curves. I think I'm going to have trouble with that, but we'll see when I get there. For now, let me start off with the diamonds and just get those in place.